A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst Mod. So my new repeater is almost done. I still can't believe I broke my old one. But at least now it's a max quality one, so that's awesome. Uh, modify, I'm going to put these back on. Oh, the scope I think is the other one that was on, but I'll have to make myself a new one. I wonder if it's uh, times two scope works or not. Although that might be a little bit too short. A times four was perfect for long and short range. We'll come back for this one. Uh, the concrete over there is done. I'll put some concrete back over here as well. These wandering hordes are just all over the place. Also the mag bow. This thing has three shots. The mag bow has 10 shots, but you can put this on there for 20 shots. That is insane. Okay, I want to eat and drink and I want to go for that airdrop first. Hopefully we can get the hazmat piece that we need. Uh, we have one point. Lucky Looter is almost max. Damn it. Okay, let's see. Perhaps over here. No, basically we can't put any point anywhere right now. We're waiting for Horde Knight to level up nicely. Okay, now these guys. Oh, this is going to be an issue. I don't like this. Hello? Carrying yourself like a zombie, but you're not. Bye-bye, zombies. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay, we have to go for the clear area as well, but I first want to go for this drop of here. Unfortunately, now that we don't have the scope, it's going to make it a little bit harder for us. Okay, it has, a, it has its three shots on. It has the anti-rad mod on as well. I just have to make sure from now on, before it even gets super, super low, just repair. You're sure you're going to lose 10 durability, but rather lose 10 durability early than lose the whole friggin' thing. I was just unlucky. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. What's, can I, what's gonna spawn? On the server, we're already getting tier 5 zombies. For those who are wondering, that's a purple zombie. You know how you get the orange zombies and the blue zombies and stuff? This one's a blue one. I think that was a tier 2, right? Well, the purple one's tier 5. We're already in May month on the server, which is insane. If we're not already June. <laughs> Every time I get back in the server, it's Horde Night, and it's 90 minute days, 7 days of Hordes. Uh, but yeah, we're already like months and months and months into that server. Okay, so now put the right glasses on. Please, hazmat mask. Please, my game stage is high enough. Please, 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 please. Oh, come on. Okay, so still no hazmat mask. We're just gonna have to keep doing tier 5 and 4 and stuff quests. Um, I'm gonna focus on super infesteds. Even though they're not tier 4 or 5 or whatever. The super infesteds and infesteds, that infested cache has sometimes a chance for like hazmat gear. So I'm definitely gonna focus on that a bit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I wanna see if we can't just clear this one really, really quickly. So we get another one and start it before 10 o'clock. And then I wanna come finish this over here. With the amount of concrete blocks we have right now, we should be able to get quite far. Ooh, this place. Okay, this is slightly dangerous. Just slightly. Although there's a lot of resources over here. Look at the lag. It's probably another wandering ward somewhere. I actually feel like doing kill all. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do kill all to let go of the lag a bit. And then the moment you start the quest. Uh the moment you start the quest, basically it's gonna go and look at that. Massive amount of zombies and stuff. It's, now it's already smoother. Now when you start the quest, it should spawn zombies because it's starting them over for the quest. This is just an infested. Always easier doing the roof first. The stuff, have to, uh, stuff has to come up to you to be able to clear the place. I can't believe I'm using the one block trick in Ravenhurst. They look like they're one zombie at the moment, the way their bodies are turned. Oh, that one just now was the uh, corpse of the zombie that was already inside. So now I have to determine which ones were already inside and which ones are mine. I think that crawler's mine. Yep. See, the other zombies that are dead are the ones I did the kill all on just now. But I had to, to actually get a little bit of uh, rid of the lag just now. Okay, so we can go... Uh, gow. What is, what's wrong with my language today? We can go down over here now. To 
few zombies right there. Another one sitting around the corner. Okay. The quicker we can clear this place out, the better for us right now. I do want to just check toilets as well, because we need a constant steady supply of murky water. We are actually getting a lot from the uh, waters that are every now and then spoiling, which is really awesome. But it's still very, very slow at the moment. That's locked. That's unlocked. This is where it might get a little bit dangerous. Look at all the steel over here. This is supposed to be an infested, but yeah, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing really well for an infested PI. Can I see you? Nice. There's one more on that side. Not that dude. I definitely want to get all the cement and stuff over here. Oh, I have to be careful of zombies hiding on top of stuff. That might be why I'm seeing so many dots, but not seeing so many zombies. Okay, cement mixes, that's going to give us a ton of stuff. There's a lot of cement over here. Damn. I mean, it is called the cement factory, but still. I wasn't expecting quite this much. Oh, I thought you were one of the corpses from earlier. I don't know if those zombies are outside or inside. Definitely above us. Are you going to fall in? Oh, look at the vulture. Big boy. I have to get out of here. Get to a safe spot quickly. I'm going to unlock this. I wasn't, I'm not quite sure where I was supposed to uh, pass through. But it's getting a little bit late right now. Probably try and skin all these vultures. Because all the feathers, that's going to give us, oh, look at all the vultures. All these feathers over here is gonna, really going to help us out. Three over there, this one over here. Damn, there's a lot of vultures. And then Fested Cash is up here as well. So we'll be immediately able to tell whether this was worth it or not. How did I not see your dot? Okay, I should probably see if I can't quickly skin these vultures that are still here. The other ones, unfortunately, they got sent flying. Although, no, they're downstairs, but there's dogs at the back over there. Oh, I wasn't reading the right glasses. No hazmats, damn it. I mean, look, ammo is still going to help us out. We're definitely going to need a lot of ammo for Horde Knight, but still, at the moment, I'm not I'm worried about that. Come on, one more. Look at all the boxes up here, damn. And so neatly hidden away, you don't even realize they're there. so many zombies spawning in around us. I'm so interested in the loot that I'm not even putting the right glasses on. Can't believe it. Okay, so, yeah. That's done. There's so many zombies around us. Hello, Vulture. I also definitely need, I do need all the steel. It's actually going to take a while uh, picking all of the stuff up. Oh, that one's radiated. Crap. Come on, start running. There you go. We've got a little HP as left. Just, I'm, I'm wasting bolts on that. There's another one over there somewhere. Oh, it's the, this one. There's definitely going to be vo uh, dogs around the corner over here. Two areas left. It's, I think it's inside that building over there that we haven't done. I have to be careful though, because infested means it's usually tw uh, times two the amount of enemies. So if you think you're done, there might be some more. 
Okay, we already did this side. We already did this side. We have to go inside as well, and then we have to do this house over here. That's locked. Which side were we supposed to go in from, though? I think we're supposed to go from the top down. Hey, you can break through there. I'll open this for the snake. Reloaded. Toilet drink. Ammo. Ooh, you're feral. I think we were supposed to go through that door over there, but it wasn't um, unlocked. Should probably just make myself a way out of here, just in case something bad happens up top. We want to be able to basically just run out of the place into safety. The problem we're facing with right now is we have to go for that one room again. I want to loot this whole place though. There's so much. Over here we can get ink. There's a crack book boxes obviously as well. Um, bows, do that, scrap, scrap. Okay, I think this is just one snake and one zombie. Um, as long as you're not a feral feral or radiated feral, it's okay. Done. Okay, I need to get into the safe of here and I want to go for that final room. I'm going to have to lockpick the safe as to not make too much noise, although... Most of the ones out here know we yeah. Come on, give us something good. <laughs> now I'm wasting resources at the base. Times four scope. Nice. Scrap, scrap, scrap. I just want to get the cement as well, so we're first going to have to dump stuff on our vehicle. Be able to do that though. There might be hidden stashes and stuff in the rooms and the roof, uh, roofs and everything, but for now, I'm more interested in just getting away from here. Okay, so with all that cement, there's a little bit over there. Uh, we have about 628 cement just from this one POI. You see, there's a lot of zombies in the area that want my bacon. Do this, do this. There's a whisper in the area as well. It's weird that the whispers and the zombies coexist so well. They're right next to each other, but they actually, it's like they have a truce or something. Okay, we already got the resource on the roof here. We got everything else. Bike is there. We have to go for that treasure map, but I'm guessing that's in the wasteland. Okay, I want to see if I can't aim for there. And then go straight over to the trader. You can actually hear the whisper over here. Okay, that just scared the crap out of me. When I jumped with my bike, it uh, pushed me down and lost some HP. I thought a zombie was smacking me all of a sudden. Okay, so shotgun. Yeah, I should probably take that one. We'll take this one and we'll take the double barrel. Any jobs? Fetch and clear, clear, restore, fetch and clear. No, thank you. Ultra infested, the Nairn Mansion. Yeah, I think the, the higher the kind of infested that you get. I mean, I mean, it's going to be harder and harder and harder because it's ultra. But the higher the one that you're doing, the better it's going to be for you. Do this, do this. Oh, okay, so the times two can go on there. What if I shouldn't use this one instead? Let me just see. Oh, oh yeah, the times two is broken. That kind of sucks. Um, now at least we have uh, two times fours. So if we break it again, we at least have the mod. I'm hoping we don't break it again, because that's really, really expensive every time we do. Okay, so reloaded. Reloaded. Um, arrows. Boom, boom. Shotgun shells. <laughs> We're not even really using the shotgun, but it makes too much noise. 
Okay, so we need more murky water. I'm just going to grab over here. Why are some of them faster than the others? I wonder. Do this, do this, do this. In one minute, we'll have that. So I can make more concrete mix over here. These should be done. And we can grab these over here. I'll actually start filling up the, the GUI center, like I would call it, with this. And then... No, I, th I think it's 10 for the buggy. So I can upgrade six more blocks to steel. And over here, we have some more steel. Oh, wow. I need a ton of iron right now. One, two, three, and like that. I'm actually going to put this wood in this box over here. It's easier to grab it later. Steel, three minutes. Yeah, that should be enough for now. Boom. Okay, so we have quite a bit of resource we can use over here. Building, I also want to grab the nail gun. The cobble, we can turn into more cobble blocks. Ah, oh, come on. Why did I do that just now? Okay, and then cobble blocks, we can go and make... Just first make eight of these over here. Seven over here. See, it's a constant steady stream. It's awesome. And now we just have to make some cobble blocks, but I'm guessing we're out of mortar. Yep. It's two mortar now, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you can get quite a bit done with that. I can kill these zombies quickly. We can actually quickly go and do a little bit of building. What was that just now? I shot there, and all of a sudden I was looking there. Okay, shoot you. I'm gonna get to the horde base, but I need to do it stealthily because I don't want to have all of these zombies interfering. Come on. Aiming, John, aiming, come on. Okay. So do I really want to have my bike with me? Let's just see how far away this is, actually. Come on. It's right over there. It doesn't really seem like there's anything walking in the fields over there. It's just so bloody dark. Okay, let me just stealth closer. I need to put these blocks in as soon as possible. If these are done then we have a horde base for the next day. It's already Saturday in game. Sunday's going to be just the next day. Okay. As long as we keep crouched, I can keep my lights on for now. Uh, technically, should not keep the lights on. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, that's going to be a problem later. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Copy shape. Copy rotation. We're going to start from this side. And just move in. This way we can actually match it up at the top. And then also have the, uh, the exact amount of blocks we have spare up top as well. I don't think we're going to have enough concrete blocks for this. I should probably just do the one side first. We are making so much more co uh, concrete though. So it should be okay. Technically doing the two wide all the way uh, from the start is a mistake. You should only do the one over here. All the way until it's like uh, solid. And then put the second side. But on the server, I did that, and we still haven't done the second side yet. So it's only like a one thick walkway, and when the nemesis zombies and cops and stuff destroy that, the thing might start gaming in. Okay, so that's going to go up. That's going to go up. Um, should probably make that steel from the start. But that block's holding weight right now. That should have been steel from the start. Those over there also need to be steel, and then the front as well. I'm going to save as much resources right now as possible, but it's a little bit difficult. There's still so much that I need to get done over here. I'm going to put a door in. I need to put a hatch in. Over here, let's just make the steel. Oh, something I haven't put in yet are those shapes. The triangle shapes that's supposed to push them down. Now, I could put it over here. So there they have to jump over a... What's it called? A bar? And then they fall down over here, close to me. Or I could put it over there and they just fall to this side and then I have to run back to the stairs. Remember, you want to have the, the thing that they get pushed off by, pushing them to the, towards the inside because they're moving towards that side. If you have the slanted side this way to, for them to fall this way, 
they might actually jump over because they want to get to you. The slanted side is just there to help you push them or hide, uh, help guide them. Come on, steal. Am I too high up? I have to do uh, these from the bottom, it seems. Okay, yeah, if I can just make sure that these are also steel. Then during Horde Night, we don't have to worry too much. I can also, now that it's only one side for now, do this and shoot. Do this and shoot. We can hide a little bit. How much steel do we have left? Okay, seven blocks worth. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. Okay. Perfectly just enough amount of steel. Okay, so I also want to go and just quickly do this. And we have to start filling in this gooey center over here. I was about to say, why does it feel like I'm still stuck on a ladder? There is a ladder up there. See, this is going to take a long time because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 by 16. So one shape can do three levels. Oh, one full um, amount like this. You can go three levels higher and then you run out of resources. The sooner you make this like a solid, con uh, like just a solid block that they have to st stand on, the better. Because then they won't be as tempted to try and chew into this. Although, technically still, at the moment, they shouldn't chew into this at all. We just need so much more cobble over here. I want to make everything on the outside completely out of concrete from the start, and then just as I get the steel, also go with that. Are you kidding me? Why did that not... Oh, that one just not place. That is so messed up. I wasn't... Well, I was jumping, but not at that exact moment. Damn. Okay, copy shape. Copy rotation. Do that. Copy shape. Put that in there. Yeah, I need to make myself a hatch, like I said. I also still need to do the top block over there and keep going down. So we constantly have to make some steel. I have to make sure that it goes all the way up. It is now the morning of Saturday in game. So Sunday we're facing the ward and then we should be done. I want to put a, a concrete roof in as well. Yeah, the fourth layer is going to be concrete because I just realized because of these over here, we can't really protect ourselves. So it's going to be over here now, just so we can put bars over here. If I start from over here and I put this over here, there's going to be a gap for vultures to get in. Okay, so let us see. We can go do that ultra infested. Make sure I put everything where it's supposed to be and go dump everything else at the base. I'm also going to make sure that the concrete we're making just now also starts crafting. Because while we're out and about, all that stuff needs to be happening in the background. Okay, ultra infested time. What is this? Wood cutting, sniper volume three. Um, I should get away just to get out and up and away. We do this. I'll try and fist it. Oh, just deleted my blocks. Dumb Jean, dumb. Hey, what? Must be a zombie above me. I'm hoping there's no full that caves in. I can't remember this POI. He's already awake as well. That's not good. What the hell? Oh yeah, ultra infested is um feral sense. I need to do this. I need to put that fire out as well. I almost forgot about this. For the longest time, we haven't really been having Feral Sense on. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to get a Wandering Ward right now. Yeah, I need to shoot you with a bow first. Crap. Um, put that, put that. Over here. Yep. Please don't die right now, please don't die right now, please don't die right now, please don't die right now. I need to put that fire out. What is this? Oh, they're all red dots. Okay, cool. I 
have to be careful because now the zombies from the vicinity also came for us. Also, our game stage is massive. I need to be careful for like nemesis zombies and boss zombies and stuff interfering. Okay, now do this. See, the beginning of the game, we used the shotgun a lot when we were running away from zombies, and that was a mistake. Still eight areas left. What's my game stage right now? 390. Nice. Eight areas left is insane. Oh, this POI. I remember this slightly. Is he underneath us or above us? I can't tell. The problem is, I think I should probably do this uh, place from the bottom. I really don't feel... This whole place is wood, so it's going to burn down. But I also... Oh, nice. I really don't want to have uh, to worry over here right now. Of more, or getting stuck in a roof with zombies. It's going to be much, much, much safer doing it from the bottom of here. Okay, thank you. Probably still make myself a way to the roof just in case. So we're going to do this. Now we have to crouch through. Yeah. It still says eight areas left with the amount of zombies we just killed. That's hard to believe. Okay, look at all those dots. There's now two dots following me. Yeah, this ultra infested is one of the harder ones. No zombies over here. Zombies over there. Thought you have to turn the lights off so it's not too bright over here. Get your dial ready. Another radiator in there. Look at all the red dots. There's so many animals. With the amount of red dots we see, it's not matching up with how many zombies there are. It's gonna come down. I don't want everyone waking up at the same time again. Thank you, my bolts back. Thank you. Upstairs is going to be super dangerous. They just destroyed that thing over there, so it's definitely going to come in. Oh, I thought he destroyed that, but he destroyed this over here. The final stash is in there as well. I'm guessing up here we're going to have to fall down into the final stash. Now that I know that, though, we're a little bit safer. Hello? If these little zombies up there? No, there can't be. I wonder if there's zombies still stuck over here on the, uh, on the floor. Hmm. 
Yeah, there can't be zombies over there. Uh, upstairs, because we already cleared out the... No, that's a different upstairs. That is a different upstairs. So when we were in the roof earlier, there was another way to get to the top. Yeah, that's a window. There's definitely a ton of zombies up there. Oh, no, there they are. They're underneath us. Okay, so if I turn this light off... Okay, we just cleared out more than half the zombies. The rest of them seem to be underneath us. I thought this over here, this window, was a zombie. It might actually still be. Let me just check. No, we were in there earlier. Okay, so now it's just around the corner, it seems. Cardboard, cardboard. Kitchen. Have to make sure this doesn't break. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, I'm going to take her first. So I can reload for him. The fact that he's just hiding around the corner like that is messed up, man. That's messed up, man. Okay, this whole living room is now down. Imagine the floor caves and there's something else down there. Oh! See, because it's an uh, infested or ultra infested, there's always more than one zombie, so be careful. You think you just took out the one zombie that was in the cupboard, and there's two. The zombies around the corner, and there's a zombie on the other side of this bed over here. What are you? What are you? What are you? Just normal. Done. Okay, see, I was able to kill the other two sleepers in here, so it made it a little bit easier for us. Ooh, these ultra infesteds are scary. They're terrifying. Damn. Especially with the amount of radiators inside. It's just a shame that you can't do this on a server. On a server, all the quests are just normal tier 1s or tier 1s, tier 2s or tier 2s. Yeah, it's a tier 6 quest, but it's a tier 4 POI. Well, now it's a tier 3 or tier 4 uh, super infested, but it's a tier 2 NPI. Please, I need the hazmat mask. That's the only reason I'm doing these quests. Hazmat uh, pants again. There has to be some kind of bug or something, right? Why am I so unlucky? Okay, right glasses on. Iron spear. We still, yeah, we're still an iron spear, unfortunately. Get that, get that. Any more jobs? Still fetching clears tier 4. I want to get the super infested and stuff done. See, these super infested catchers, you saw just now, we got more hazmat pieces. It's just not the ones we're looking for. So the more I can keep doing this, the more it's going to be better for us. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to work out really well. I'm going to do this, this. I'm going to scrap that later, actually, for more parts. And then, because that's a 480, it's going to break a little bit slower if we do this. Okay. So if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.